Welcome everyone again to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we talk about iOS 17, a device so you can see iOS 17 running on this iPhone. And uh, right now we want to talk about how do you change the keyboard. And changing the keyboard on any iPhone running iOS 17 is a very simple process. At first, there are like two ways or two approaches to it. Because switching the keyboard may mean switching the languages, switching from emoji keyboard to something else, or switching to a completely different third-party keyboard. Anyways, if you just, for example, get to any place where you can type in some sort of text, let's say it's gonna be notes, I'm gonna type something in, and if I wanna switch to a different keyboard, all I have to do is to hold down on the globe icon, which you can see right here at the bottom. You can see that right now if I hold down to it, I can switch to a different language, switch to emojis, or switch to this sort of keyboard view, which is more to like use it in right hand or for it to switch to this view to use it in the left hand. So that's, yeah, these are the options and how you can easily change it this way. However, you can also switch to the settings and here you can add some new keyboard. So if you click on add new keyboard, you can search through many different languages and add a new one. So this would technically be switching to a new keyboard as well. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. But what you probably also mean, what you could be referring to, is to switching to a completely new keyboard. So you don't really have to use the Apple's built-in one since iOS 8. So in iOS 17, you have the option as well. Anyways, you open up the App Store to get the, to all apps, which you can download. Tap to search and type in some kind of keyboard. There are some alternatives to Apple keyboards out there. So you can choose, for example, this one is just like a fancy one. You don't really use it every single day, but just find the one that you like. There are two main options, which is Microsoft Swift Key or Google Gboard. So you can see Gboard or Swift Key. These are the main ones, but naturally there are other keyboards available. But what you have to do is to, of course, download the app like this and just make sure that the app is gonna be downloaded, installed, on your iPhone. So once the app is downloaded, all you have to do is to open it up and basically follow the instructions, but I'm gonna show you in any way. So you have to get started and you can see that you have to enable the full access. So tap on get started. It moves you over to the keyboard section. So you can see Gboard is right here. It can access your location, but you can also just tap on keyboards like this and turn on a Gboard and allow full access. Tap on allow, and now you basically have successfully installed the Google keyboard. So if I type in here, you can switch to Gboard right here. So you can see a new keyboard has been added. So tap on the Gboard and you have the Google keyboard right here, which has its own settings, which has the option to like switch to something else as well. So you can see it's like a different world. You can swipe on it. It's all up to the developers of that specific app to do whatever they want with the keyboard. But that's basically it. That's how you can add a new keyboard and switch to a different one on iPhone running iOS 17. So that's about it. I hope I explained everything that I wanted to. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below so, so you don't miss future uploads and future ways to know more about your iphone thanks a lot for watching hit the thumbs up see you guys later